सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक प्रोजेक्ट आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो सो थैंक्स फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी एंड वी विल कम्प्लीट अवर टारगेट ऑफ वेदर एप ऑफ फिफ्टी लाइक्स सो नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वेदर एप सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट द यू आई ऑफ द वेदर एप एंड इन द सेकेंड पार्ट वी विल कम्प्लीट अवर वेदर एप सो इफ यू आर अ न्यू टू द वीडियो दैन फर्स्ट आई रिकमेंड यू वॉज द डेमो वीडियो वट वी एक्चुअली गोइंग टू क्रिएट सो बेसिकली इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो दैन आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ वेदर एप विच कैन टेल द लोकेशन ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन और यूर करंट लोकेशन एंड इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिव यू आई सो आई रिकमेंड यू अगेन वॉज द डेमो वीडियो so don't for the delay now let's start the video and see how to implement its ui so for this simply open your endo studio so i open my endo studio here now simply click on file and now click on new and then new project now simply select empty activity from here simply select next now you can give any app name so i simply type here weather app tutorial then simply click on finish it may take some time here to load so be patient so our project is load successful now we are ready to write the code so for writing the code simply open your activity main xml file and now simply click on split and i expand it little bit now what i have to do simply delete this hello world first we don't need this now simply change the constraint layout to relative layout now simply add a background color so it is your choice whether you want to add a background color or not so i simply add a background color and not background and you can use my color code or you can use your color code so my color code is 242343 that's done now we want to create a responsive ui for our weather app so it is better start creating the ui from bottom because we are going to use relative layout if we use constraint layout in our project then the best approach is to start the designing from top but we are going to use relative layout and linear layouts inside our project because this is not so complex project and it is very easy so for this i am going to use relative layout and in relative layout if you want to create a responsive design then then the first approach to start designing from bottom so I open my previous one project and here you can see in bottom I need this type of button which contain a text so basically this is not a button this is type of layout which contain a text view so why I don't take a button because in new update of Android studio it is I am facing little bit issue how to change the button color and maybe this is the bug in present in new Android studio so for this I consider to take a relative layout here so now let's start the coding and write the code so simply take an open bracket and simply type here relative layout now set the layout width match parent and height 40 db is fine now set the center in parent and pass true now set the margin left 30 db is fine give the margin right also 30 db is fine and now simply type align parent bottom and simply pass true and now you can give any id name it is your choice so i simply give the id name city finder because this is the button which help to create to move from this activity to next activity now simply close this After closing this relative layout you can see this is present on bottom now to give little bit margin from bottom so, so simply give the margin bottom so simply type here inside the bracket margin bottom and margin bottom is 30 db is fine and that's done now inside this relative layout be remember inside this relative layout simply take a text view so simply take an open bracket type text view now set the layout with wrap content height wrap content now simply set the text which you want so i simply type here want to search for a new city so you can type anything now simply close this now give any text color which you want so i simply type here text color and i use white color code but you can use any color you can see it fine now simply you can give layout center in parent simply give layout center in parent and pass true and now simply give the text size so 16 sp is fine and that's done now it's on warning so what it say so it say to collapse empty text so simply collapse it now you can see now it is fine so you can see our relative layout is created successfully now we have to add a background to this relative layout so for this we have to create a drawable resource file so open your resource folder and expand your drawable folder now right click on drawable then click on new then drawable resource file so you can give any file name i simply give here button design and simply click on okay now here you have to do so you have to simply replace the selector by shape so simply type here shape and simply give the shape rectangle so be remember write the code inside this closing bracket so simply type here android shape and simply give the rectangle that's done now come outside from this bracket simply take an open bracket type corners and you can give any radius so i think 10 dp is fine now simply give now simply close this and after closing simply take a solid color so simply type here solid below the corners and simply give any color you can give any color code or you can pass my color code so my color code is #ffa384 
now close this after closing open your activity main xml file again and simply add this background inside the relative layout so simply type here background and simply pass the button design file name and you can see now our this type of button is ready and we have to use this id city finder to move from to use this button so now it is very amazing and it's looking perfect now we need three things so what three things are so i pack these three things like temperature this location current weather type and the current location so i pack these three things inside a linear layout so for this i have to take a linear layout so open your project again and now as i already know we start writing code from bottom so press enter so many time here so now simply take a linear layout here so simply take an open bracket type linear layout set the width match parent and height wrap content now simply give the margin bottom and 50 dp is fine and set the orientation vertical and set the layout above because we want this thing above the button so pass the ict finder id name and now simply close this now we have to simply take a three text view inside this linear layout so press enter first and we remember inside this linear layout simply take a text view now set the layout with wrap content and height wrap content is fine now first give any id to use into our java file so i simply give the id name temperature because this text view is going to display the temperature now simply give the padding start 30 dp is fine and now simply give the text size so you can give any text size i simply type 50 sp now simply i just give the text style bold so this is just a customization it is your choice whether you want to use this or not now simply type text android text and i simply use 0 degree celsius so for now degree symbol is replaced by multiply symbol so for now i am using this multiply symbol but don't worry into our main java file i simply replace this by degree symbol so don't take tension now simply close this text view now simply give the text color so i think white color is fine so i simply again white color so you can see our code is ready now we need a one more text view below this text view so what we have to do we have to simply again take an open bracket type text view set the layout with this time layout with is match parent and height wrap content is fine and simply give the id so i give the id name weather condition because it tell the current weather condition text size is 30 sp is fine text style give the text color so white color is fine now simply give the text so for now i simply give this type of text now simply again give the padding start and 30 sp is fine and now it is perfect now close this text view also so you can see now it is perfect now below this we have to take one more text view for displaying the city so simply take an open bracket type text view set the layout with match parent and set the layout height wrap content now simply give the id so i simply give the id name city name because it's going to display the city name now simply type text style bold simply give the text size so i think 40 sp is fine and you can give any text size it is your choice now simply set the text so i simply type here fetching for now now simply give the text color and i use white color now close this now also we have to give padding start so simply type padding start 30 sp is fine so you can see our layout is almost ready now we what we need we need a one image view so for this we have to take an image view above this linear layout so simply take an press enter first and simply take an open bracket and simply type here image view now set the layout with match parent and height 270 dp is fine now set the id so this image view is going to display the weather icon so simply i give the weather icon id name it is always better to give the id name correspond to networking now simply give the margin top and 80 dp is fine margin top and now simply close this so you can see our layout is completely ready now there is nothing appear here but is this layout is completely responsive just in a one minute i will show you so for different weather conditions we have to import the some different images inside our drawable so for this i minimize my under studio from here and open my file explorer now i go inside my local disk d and here you can see i already downloaded the images like cloud for cloudy weather for finding this type of question mark for fog for light rain for overcast for shower for snow so these kind of weather images i recommend you first download so you can download this from any website like um, canva free pick so for due to the copyrighted issue i am not going to use this from paid website i simply downloaded these web images from canva so it is your choice whether you want to download from anywhere now one thing now one thing due to the paid paid thing i simply download the png files of these images 
but if you want to use inside into your project then you have to download the svg icons so these type of icons is normally present in svg format but due to the paid issue i am not able to download the svg format but also this these images are work as icon because i set the background color of these images same as my project background color so you can use download these kind of images by making background color same or you can download the simply svg icon so i simply now i downloaded these all images so i simply first so first i have to copy these images from here to inside our render studio so i select all so these are the all images so i copy this so right click and simply click on copy now open your render studio and right click on drawable and now simply click on paste now click on ok and now click on refractor now you can see all images successfully pasted here now simply add a image view here so simply type here source of image so i have to use the finding image here and you can see now our layout is completely ready and this layout is completely responsive now let me show you how this is responsive so you can see 5 inch size screen phone now if i click on 5.7 so you can see it also look fine if i click on 6.3 it also look fine if i click on 7 size tablet it also look fine if i click on 10.1 size of tablet you can see it also look fine so this is completely responsive layout if i click on 5.6 you can see it also look fine so now this is amazing ui so now let's start so our ui implementation is completed now we have to create one more activity to find the weather of a particular location so i am going to complete that work in also in this video so right click here then click on new now simply select activity and simply select empty activity from here now you can give any id name so i simply give city finder activity now click on finish now open the xml file of this city finder and now click on split now what this activity include this activity include a search box and a back button so first of all i have to change the constraint layout to relative layout and simply add a background color so you can use any color so i again going to use my color 3242343 now inside this first i have to take a back button so simply type here image view now set the layout with wrap content and layout height is wrap content is also fine now simply type margin top 10 dp is fine and set the margin left 10 dp is fine now for back button i have to use the back button image so i open my previous one project so in project section now in drawable so this is the image for left back button so i simply copy this image from here so you can copy this image this kind of image from anywhere you can find easily find it on anywhere so i simply click on paste or you can use vector icon which is already present in android studio so it is your choice now i simply type here source and simply use the left image so you can see now it has worked fine now simply type align parent left true align parent top true and start align parent start and also pass true now close this now this image view is completed now below this we need a text view or we can say an edit text so simply take an open bracket type edit text now simply set the layout with match parent and height 40 db is fine now play for placing this into center so simply type center horizontal pass true center vertical pass true simply send the any hint so i simply type here and enter city name now simply give the margin left 30 dp is fine and give the margin right 30 dp is fine now first close this to show you whether it is working or not so you can see our text view is come here successfully now <clears throat> we have to write some more code so simply type here text size so 20 sp is fine now simply give the text color so i am going to use black color so it automatically present in colors or text so i simply type here black now simply set the im options and simply type here action go so basically what is the working of this ime action so it automatically detect whether you press the enter button on your keyboard or not so by this action button we don't need an more button x or we can say an extra button we simply use our keyboard to move from one activity to another activity and we simply take the text from edit text so we don't need an extra button or we can say set an on click you know, inside this button to make the working of this edit text we can simply use this ime option action go now simply give any id so 
I simply give the ID name search city. Now you can simply type a input type and I simply type text auto correct. Now simply give the gravity and simply type center vertical then in slash and simply type center horizontal. Now here nothing appear because the text color is black and the background color is blue. So for this for customize this edit text I have to make one more drawable file so right click here and simply click on new and then simply select edit drawable source file now simply give the file name edit text design now simply click on ok simply replace the selector by shape simply give the shape rectangle simply give the corners and give the corner radius 10 dp is fine now simply give the solid color and I pass white color but you can use any color and now close this now open your activity city finder and simply add this drawable file inside using background so simply type background and edit text design so you can see now it looks amazing and you can see this is my previous one project and this is also look same and it is amazing so our UI is completely ready so in this video we complete our UI or we can say implementation of UI in Android Studio. Now in the next part of the video we will see how to write the Java code for our weather app. So simply stay tuned and simply like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update Android project and web development project. If you have any query you can simply comment down below. I try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update. This is the end of the first part and in the second part we will see the how to make working weather app and also we will complete our weather app in second part. So now simply like the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. See you soon in next video.